Well, all the major indices hit record highs early in the session, but they couldn't hold on, even though economic data coming into the session and during the session underscores my thesis that the American consumer is back. Think about this last week, online numbers, they're in and they are very impressive on Black Friday. Uh, sales, $5 billion up almost 17%. Thanksgiving, sales of almost $3 billion, that's up 18%. And uh, the holiday season, which begins from November 1st and November 24th, at $38 billion, up almost 18%. And the guesstimates coming into today, Cyber Monday, would be $6.6 .6 billion. That would be a 17% improvement year over year. Uh, the news of all of that, of course, since shares of Amazon to yet another high. Uh, it also looked at Roku, which has been one of the more popular items purchased in the last week, to within inches of an all-time high as well. Overall, though, equities today were boring. It was cyber currencies. That's where all the action was. They continue to surge. Bitcoin made its fastest 1,000-point move and history climbing to a value of $161 billion overall. And to be sure, there's a lot of other crypto names, currency names out there, and they're on fire as well. Uh, over the last month, in fact, big moves. Bitcoin up 68%. Ethereum up 62%, Litecoin up 65%. That's all in one single month now. With the onslaught of initial coin offerings, ICOs, it's tough to keep up. I'm working really hard. I'm trying to find the best names in this space, and hopefully I'll have a special report for you on that real soon. Back to Terra Firma. New home sales for October up huge, up more than 6%. The street thought we'd see a decline of 6%, and they were driven by super strong growth in the Northeast. Your average price, $400,000 for a new home. Well, that's an all-time record from 308,000 just a month ago and 350,000 a year ago. And I think there's going to continue to be upward pressure on prices as month supply dipped to just 4.9 months. That's uh, really low. It's huge news for the housing industry overall, and I think also a great proxy for Main Street. After the close, another great sign of economic strength from the recreational vehicle maker Thor Industries. Now, I was a keynote speaker at the industry's main event this spring. I actually brought on the company CEO in, in June. And my newsletter subscribers, you guys all should own the stock. Let's face it, viewers, I've been talking about this since 2016. You should own this stock. It should be in your portfolio right now. If it is, you're in luck. They just posted financial results. They crushed Wall Street expectations. We're talking about record sales of over $2 billion, up 31%. Record net income, $128 million, up 63%. Earnings per share, up 63%. Now, for me, this is the ultimate consumer discretionary purchase. I'm talking about an RV. Here's the thing. Everybody's forking over the dough. Baby boomers, Gen X, millennials. In fact, management statement, one of the things they put out, quote, current industry fundamentals are supported by demographic trends that are expanding the RV buying base and high consumer confidence buoyed by positive employment, wage trends, and general economic conditions. The bottom line is there's a lot more room for consumer growth. I'm going to have more details on that in my morning commentary, wstreet.com. you got to check in.